Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to your reading for quarter two of 2022. This is for uh, April through June of 2022. Uh, we're going to just jump right in here. Uh, looks good already. <laughs> I like that. Um, we're going to jump right in here and get started. There won't be, there's only going to be one part to this reading. I'm going to clarify in this reading, you know, in this video right here. I'm also using the Prisma Visions Tarot if you're wondering what deck this is. But you start off with this Jupiter card. Love it. Clearly, there could be a lot of abundance coming in for you. You have a lot of abundant cards already. Ace of Cups, um, a very abundant card. The King and Queen of Pentacles, the star. Are you kidding me? Um, <laughs> this is a good reading. Nine of Cups. Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Swords, and the uh, Temperance card. So we end on a strong note. This is definitely going to be a good quarter for you. You start off with this Abundance card, this Jupiter card. Jupiter's in a very good position for you. And, um, you know, being in your opposite sign, Pisces, still very good for you. And uh, what I would say here is that there could be love coming in for you as well. You have the king and the queen of pentacles here. Doesn't matter what gender you're attracted to, um, but they're, you know, the, to me, they're divine counterparts. There could be something very stable coming in for you if you are looking for love. Uh, other than that, I just feel that you could be kind of overflowing. Sorry, I dropped it, Butterfingers, today, but <laughs> I feel like you could be overflowing with abundance here. You even have the Ace of Cups in your first position. And the Ace of Cups is, you know, overflowing, overflowing with abundance. It is traditionally the card of, you know, love, a love offer, but it could be any type of abundance that is overflowing from the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is like a self-filling cup. It's you entering into something that really doesn't require very much of your energy or something that fills you back up, that fulfills you with energy, right? So I feel for a lot of you, that you're moving towards an, you know, an opportunity, a job, business, career, relationship, whatever it is you want, and it's gonna be something that kind of fills you up, something that is self-fulfilling. It's probably something that requires some skill, and I would say that this is a skill that you have. Traditionally, on the King of Cups, he is growing grapes, and grapes in the tarot are considered to be like challenging or difficult to grow. They require a lot of skill, and I feel that for some of you who have maybe been waiting more on the career side of things for like a career or job that's based off of a skill that you have, um, this to me is saying that you're going to be getting a career or something based on a skill that you have. Um, because again, I'm getting that kind of more, um, you know, he's a card of being competent, just being good at doing something. And so I kind of feel that energy for you. You do have the Five of Cups. I, w I feel like this is the only thing that can hold everybody back. Everybody's been getting like the Five of Wands, Five of Swords, Five of Cups. If we boil all the fives down, they can all represent regrets in a certain way, in some ways. Um, you know, the, the five of pentacles could be having regrets about um, missing out on something or losing money or being left out in the cold in the first place. But the five of cups, I feel, is kind of like saying, you need to look at what you do have. You have more than enough. I feel like everybody's been feeling this. Like, it's like everybody's feeling the loss of something. And for a lot of us, I feel it's the loss of the way things used to be <laughs> in in any area of our life. And it's like, it's almost like the universe is forcing us to mature in a certain way or something along those lines. And I feel like people are still kind of a little bit hanging on to the past. And I'm not talking about a person, I'm talking about the way things used to be. And the, you know, the world is changing. And I, I feel like the faster we embrace these changes, the better. Uh, in the area of messages from your future self, you have this truth card, a lot of truths being revealed. Um, be, I've done almost half the reading so far and pretty much every single reading has had something about the truth coming out. I've said it before, I'll say it again. We have a lot of stuff in the astrology that could be exposing the truth. I keep telling people, number one, if there are things that you don't want to get back to you, um, watch your mouth, number one, right? I would be very careful of like the people that you're telling things to or you know, definitely no gossip and things like that at this time. But uh, for you, I kind of feel this is good. I feel like it's saying you're living your truth. You have the Page of Cups as your first card. I'll show you in a second. But normally he has a fish in that cup and he's looking at that cup with the fish in it. And that could be his imagination, something that he is imagining that he wants in his life or that he wants to create. And I feel like the truth energy for you here is living your truth. You have the Page of Cups, the Two of Swords, and the Queen of Pentacles. The Two of Swords is a card of kind of needing to turn around and see what you do have. I kind of feel like this is more saying don't settle. Normally, I would say that the Two of Swords is a card of mediation. It's a card of like meeting in the middle. It's a card of compromise and kind of coming together with a solution. 
for you, I feel like this is saying don't settle on your dreams <laughs> with the Page of Cups. I feel like it's saying don't accept less with this Page of Cups energy. I really feel like you need to kind of go for something here. And it, again, I, if you have Pisces in your chart, I would definitely watch that reading because it's very similar. I always get a very similar energy for the two of you. And I feel that for a lot of you, this is really saying there's something that you truly want. Don't settle for less and don't accept less in your life. You also have the Queen of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles really says you have the resources necessary to be successful. She is a card of resourcefulness, and pretty much everyone has been getting these cards of resourcefulness. I do feel that we do need to be extremely resourceful right now. Money might be scarce, money, you know, or there might be other resources that we're having a hard time gathering. But the Queen of Pentacles, she finds a way, number one, to find a resource. Like if she doesn't have money to do something, she finds the money to do something with like, you know, maybe she has a hidden talent, gift, skill, or ability that she could use as a side hustle that she could use to help people that would also make her money. Maybe she has people in her life who will lend her money. Um, you know, it could be anything. So she is resourceful. The other thing with the Queen of Pentacles and the Two of Swords is that's negotiation. Those two cards together, Queen of Swords, or I'm sorry, Queen of Pentacles, Two of Swords. That is like negotiation. She might need money for something, but she might be able to negotiate a way to uh, not use money. <laughs> she, you know, she might be able to come up with some sort of solution. And so, whenever I see these two cards together, because she is Capricorn, and she's very good at kind of like coming up with solutions that might not involve what she actually needs to accomplish something. If you owe money, you know, my, it, it, this gives me the vibes of like coming up with a payment plan or something like that. And it's like, sometimes I think people don't think these things exist, but they do. It's like, sometimes I think, you know, people like want to pay off their debts. It's like, there's no, why, like, why not try negotiating your debt, right? With whoever you have a debt with, you, you never know what could happen um, with this energy. Maybe they'll just tell you that not to worry about it. I, I doubt it, but because <laughs> uh, people want their money, right? But, uh, you know, what I would say here is this is very good for coming to an agreement, coming to, you know, working things out. But again, the thing with the Queen of Pentacles is you have to put the work in. It's not going to, nobody's going to come to you and say, oh, I'll help you, you know, take care of this. You're going to have to be the one that does it. But if you do it, you know, this could be very good for you. The other part of this is there's something you've been trying to accomplish for a long time. Uh, I, I feel it's tied with the, the Wheel of Fortune. The, the Part of the Wheel of Fortune is it's your personal vision for your life. If you have a certain identity that you feel that you identify with, that identity could be that you are a person who owns a business. That could be your identity in your head. But it's like maybe you don't own, you know, maybe you don't have a business. Maybe you want to be like a traveler and you want to travel the world, but you're not traveling yet. <laughs> um, the Wheel of Fortune, I really see that as your personal vision for your life. Um, because again, that's what it can represent, your personal vision for your life. There's some sort of disconnect between like who you are now and what you you see your future identity as with that Wheel of Fortune. The good news is I feel like you're moving, you know, it's like you're moving closer to it. You have this main male card. Again, I don't attach gender to my cards in these general readings. I feel that this could just be you. In this reading, I feel like it's just talking about the main person in the reading. And uh, in this row, you have the Queen of Wands, the Star, and the Nine of Cups. Damn, this is like total wish fulfillment. This is the area of the unexpected. I feel like what's unexpected is this Queen of Wands energy. Queen of Wands, she really goes for something that she wants and she doesn't care what anyone thinks. She follows her heart right here. Ace of Cups, Page of Cups, Queen of Wands, Wheel of Fortune. Literally, that top row, is what you should be focusing on as far as I'm concerned here, Virgo. I feel like that top row is guiding you. I feel like that top row is saying, go in this direction, move in this direction, do these things that you wanna do. You're gonna be very successful if you do them. So I feel like there's a lot of success coming in for you um, with this Queen of Wands energy, but you know she requires you to be bold, to be assertive, to make things happen. You also have the star. I kind of feel this is a boost from the universe. I feel like the star is something that is inspiring you to action. I also say this because right next to the star, you have the Ace of Swords. And you know the Ace of Swords can be kind of inspirational or it can be something that inspires you to action. So I feel there's like a little bit of a boost coming from the universe and then you have the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is a wish or a wish fulfillment. So this looks like you're getting a wish to move closer to your personal vision for your life with that Wheel of Fortune. And again, all the cards pretty much add up to that. I think the only challenge here is mentally, you know, wrapping your head around finding a solution to get the resources to be able to live your dream. <laughs> I know that was a mouthful, but that Queen of Pentacles is 
like really kind of standing out to me in your reading. And I really feel like it's saying you have the resources, but maybe, you know, this is going to require being resourceful. I always get travel for you for whatever reason, right? And I'm not saying it has to be travel, but, um, you know, it's like, if you want to travel, maybe you want to go to other countries. Maybe you could teach English in those other countries, right? There are like programs that can help you do that and will like pay for you to go. So, you know, I feel like if you, this reading is really saying you're going to have to move the dirt, right? I've been saying all year, 2022 is a year of looking for gold, right? You have to move a lot of dirt to get to the gold. And I feel like that's the whole thing is that we have to put the work in. I think the problem with this year is the Mars retrograde, which I've said to basically everyone, it's like kind of making us tired already, right? So I get a lot of comments from people that are like, I'm tired, I don't want to look. I'm like, well, <laughs> your life is gonna be exactly the same then. It's like, yeah, it's like, I'm not trying to be mean, but I definitely also am not gonna sugarcoat it. I want to encourage people that you know want more for their life to do it because yeah, it's gonna be hard. Yeah, you're gonna be tired and all that other stuff, but it's like, what's on the other side of that is what you want. So it's like, why not go through it now instead of like waiting, you know? And that's kind of how I see this row. Uh, finally, in the area of messages from your guides, you have this egg card. It says, success, success assured with good plans and hard work. Literally everything I just said. And you have this heart card. It says, love, deep affection and caring. I do feel like there's love here if you want it. I don't really see this as a love reading. Um, I see this more as your heart, like what, what your heart belongs to. The ace of cups, the first card. Very simple reading. No need to overcomplicate it. I feel like there's gonna be success through hard work and I would follow your heart. I wouldn't listen to what other people say. I've been saying this to you all year. The Queen of Wands, as I've said to other people, Queen of Wands, she has a black cat in front of her. And that black cat was, you know, when t the tarot was created, black cats were considered extremely unlucky. And so the card itself represents the fact that she loves the black cat. She doesn't care that people think it's unlucky. She doesn't care what other people think. And so I do feel that for a lot of you, the Queen of Wands is kind of like saying, uh, embrace that energy. <laughs> embrace the energy of not caring, right? Uh, in this row, you have the Wheel of Fortune, the Ace of Swords, and the Temperance card. Clearly a victory coming in for you. Temperance, again, is a card of alchemy. It's a card that says, if you aren't successful one way, try another, right? And also the path to glory is on the temperance card. There's a path that leads up to a crown. It's basically the path to your victory, the path to what you want. So again, just more symbolism that is really just saying that you can have whatever you want this quarter. You're probably going to just have to work it and figure out how to get there. You have the Ace of Swords, which is a victory. So I definitely feel there are some major victories or just like one big victory coming in for you with the Ace of Swords. And again, I feel like it has to do with this right here the Wheel of Fortune. Like I said, the Wheel of Fortune is your identity, but it's, you know, kind of more the things that make you who you are. You know, it's your personal vision for your life. But like I said, it has to do with your identity because it's like, if you are, if you want to identify as a person, like I said, who owns a business, for example, uh, and you don't, then you're kind of like on the outside of the wheel. The, the deal with the Wheel of Fortune is that you want to be on the inside of the wheel. Things are always changing around you. There will always be good and bad things that happen, you know, good and bad things that happen in life. But when you're at the center of the wheel, then you're able to take control of your destiny when you're actually at the center um, instead of just being on the outside. And uh, so I feel like some of you need to move towards your heart. Let's see. With the Ace of Cups and the Page of Cups, you have the, uh, what is this? Uh, Page of Pentacles. So the Page of Pentacles, new beginning. <laughs> uh, definitely could be new love, like I said, for those of you that want love. Now there could be like a fire sign or a sign. I don't know, you have everything here. Aquarius, uh, Sagittarius, you know, it could be any sign coming in for you if you want love, but I do feel like there could be new love. Uh, this is also a card of just learning something new. And it's also a card of being very excited. Again, the Ace of Cups is overflowing, that overflowing energy. Um, like I said, Pisces had the same thing in their reading and it doesn't, it, like it's, it doesn't really surprise me. I think we need to move towards things that excite us, that cause us to overflow. The resistance I think is that we, it doesn't make sense or maybe we feel like what we care about won't make us money. It's like those types of, those types of resistances, whatever you want to call them are kind of like popping up, but we need to live our truth. That's, a, it's like, it might not seem like it, but that's exactly how we're going to become successful. With the King of Pentacles and the Two of Swords, you have the Hierophant. Definitely a time of learning. Hierophant is a card of like becoming a master. It's a card of initiation. It, he has three levels to his crown, represents initiation, um, apprenticeship, and mastery. And so it's like you're becoming, you're mastering life is what I feel here. Also could be dealing with a Taurus. With the Five of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles, you have the Strength card. I feel that the Strength card is like your inner beast, your inner demons, your 
inner everything. Normally, the lady, she has her hands in the lion's mouth and she's like taming her inner beast, her inner demons. And so I feel a lot of you, um, you know, should be doing that. Whatever, whatever it is that you can do to do that would be a good idea. With the Page of Cups and the Queen of Wands, you have the Page of Wands. A lot of page energy, definitely a lot of excitement and like a total new beginning happening for you here. Page of Wands, Page of Pentacles, Page of Cups is like almost all the pages. And I feel like you're very excited. I would be moving towards excitement. That's, you know, that's exactly what I'd be doing here. With the Two of Swords and the Star, you have the Three of Pentacles. Um, definitely, you know, Three of Pentacles is my card that says teamwork makes a dream work. So working together with other people, I feel is going to be very beneficial for you working on a team. Uh, Three of Pentacles is also a card of quality work. And the star, you know, the star is about shining bright and kind of letting your inner star shine. We're entering into this time of Aquarius. I talk about this a lot because we're about to have a lot of energy in Aquarius. And the whole point of that is that the Aquarius energy wants everyone to be their own little star. <laughs> so... If it's like if there was ever a time where everybody could become famous, it's right now. It, are we truly all going to become famous? No, but in your own little er, you know area of life, it's like maybe you want to become a hamster farmer. It's like you could become the most famous hamster farmer that exists. Like where does your heart belong with the Ace of Cups? That's what the Ace of Cups is asking you. And it's saying you can become the biggest version of whatever it is that you love, where your heart belongs to, like I said. And I really see a lot of you doing that, especially with the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles says there's a little bit extra that needs to be done. You know, there's a fire triangle on the top and a traditional Three of Pentacles. There's a water triangle on the bottom uh, below the Three of Pentacles. The water triangle is kind of like something more. It's like he's completed the three pentacles. He's done the job, but the, three, the, the water triangle really says there's like icing on the cake. There's something more that he could be doing. And for a lot of you, I feel like it's saying, it's like your heart belongs to something like a project, a business idea, hamster farming, whatever you want to do, I don't care. And what it says is there's like a, the highest level. It's like this reading, I really feel is encouraging you to push it. With the Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups, because you can. <laughs> just It's just that simple, Virgo, because you can. You know, that's why. The magician, he is capable of manifesting, you know, everything that he wants. So I feel like the reason you need to do this is because you can, plain and simple. With the Queen of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune, you have the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands is like never going back to the past. I, I feel this for a lot of people as well. We've had some very difficult energy for the past like decade, you know, or longer. And I feel a lot of people are just like saying, I want to set my life up so that I don't have to live like that ever again. And, and that's kind of how I see that for you. With the star and the ace of swords, you have the two of pentacles. You're going to have to put the work in. Two of pentacles being very busy, multitasking, having a lot to do. But I feel like as long as you organize it, um, you'll be fine here, Virgo, plain and simple. With the Nine of Cups and the Temperance card, you have the Lovers. Um, so it definitely could be love coming in for you. I would say this is really good. Look at this. Um, Page of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Lovers. I love that. Someone who really wants to work on a team, a new person, Page of Pentacles, and true love. So, you know, there could be true love coming in for you. For others, this to me, you know, the Lovers to me is like a new path, just uh, picking the new path. Uh, top row outcome, Six of Pentacles, worth it. Those are the words that I'm getting here, Virgo. <laughs> totally worth it. Anything you're doing, I feel that you're going to be seeing results. I really see you kind of multitasking here quite a bit as well, Virgo. For those of you that are working on projects and businesses, or um, even if you're retired, you could be working on projects in the home and things like that. I, f I really see you multitasking a lot, kind of doing a lot of things, but it's all for the same thing, if that makes sense. It's like, you know, I'll just use my YouTube channel as an example. It's like I have a TikTok and an Instagram. It's like I'm multitasking. I'm doing multiple things but all for the same thing, you know, if that makes sense. That's when I. That's how I see that. It's like you could be writing a book, but maybe you're also writing a blog to link to the book so that you can sell your book or whatever. I, like I see you doing that. Um, it's kind of like you're working on the whole package with that Six of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. Like I was saying earlier, I see that Wheel of Fortune as your identity. And it's like everything you're doing has a purpose of going towards your identity. If that, like, I hope that makes sense. Cause it's like, sometimes I think we work on things that are just too disconnected in life. Like they don't really, they're not really working towards a common goal. Maybe that's a better way to put it. It's like, you're working towards a common goal right now. Super powerful. I like this. Uh, middle row, five of swords. 
I would cut out anything that no longer serves you, plain and simple. And uh, bottom row outcome, you have the King of Wands. Didn't you have the King of Wands in here? Um, no, you have the King and Queen of Wands and the King and Queen of Pentacles, divine counterparts times two. So if you're looking for love, could be a divine counterpart. For others, Queen of Wands is, is like, I mean, the King of Wands is extremely bold, extremely assertive, and he really works on something that he wants to see be successful. So he really like nurtures his businesses into existence his jobs, his anything that he wants to be successful, he really takes care of it. So this is a pretty simple reading. I feel like it has to do with your identity, like I said, and it's gonna be very powerful. So uh, thank you for being here, Virgo. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But 